Welcome to Ridge Life Lessons. I'm Tim, and it is beautiful here in West Tennessee today, a spring-like day. Um, we've got flowers blooming, trees are budding. Look at the azaleas behind me. Aren't those beautiful? Hear the birds singing. Today's uh, inspirational word is uh, not directly from the Bible this time. It's going to be from a couple Christian leaders of the past uh, relating to the blooms of the flowers. First, we're going to start off with Martin Luther. Martin Luther writes, God writes the gospel not in the Bible alone, but on trees and flowers and clouds and stars. Guys, God is everywhere. His creation is wonderful. And in the minute molecule of your being, God has authored its existence. So when you feel normal or, or uh, ordinary, guys, God created each of you wonderfully independent in his own likeness. He created you wonderfully. You are wonderfully made. You are special to him. Uh, our second scripture, or uh, inspirational word, is from Charles Spurgeon. Uh, he says, no scripture is exhausted by a single explanation. The flowers of God's garden bloom not only double, but sevenfold. They are continually pouring forth fresh fragrance. Again, that was Charles Spurgeon. Sevenfold, seven, the number of, 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 of uh, greatness, the number of completion in the Bible. And God's work is complete from beginning to end. It is, it is determined. And you, are you, is your name written in the book of life, the Lamb's book of life? I sure hope it is. Uh, it's not too late now for you to have it written. All you have to do is have faith. Repent of your sins. Ask Jesus to be your Savior. Salvation can be yours as well. Seven-fold beauty. Completeness of God. Guys, we have some prayers to lift up today. And if you're new to Prayers from the Porch, um, people have left comments in last week's Prayers from the Porch, and we're reading them this week, um, lifting them up to God. So as, as, as I read these, I hope each of you can um, pray, a, pray a moment about them. Maybe go to your prayer closet or on your ride home from work or to work or wherever you pray. Please uh, lift these up today. Um, William Hughes has got some uh, prayer requests for um, co-workers. I appreciate uh, him uh, getting those out as well. I really want to make sure we add um, the wares uh, from Wonder Arts and Adventure. Uh, it's Krista and Brian Ware. Brian has suffered a stroke and um, he's having uh, difficulties, um, but uh, there, there uh, is seen some improvement. Uh, so I definitely want to make sure we're lifting up uh, Brian Ware, Krista Ware. Um, you guys are definitely, definitely in our prayers. Um, Several prayer requests have, have come through. Um, K62, definitely pray for your family to be saved. Um, lots of, lot of unspoken requests this week. Um, guys, I wanna pray for married couples. Uh, we've seen some uh, beautiful married couples have some, uh, some difficulties this week, and we wanna pray that God strengthens, that strengthens their marriage. Um, Auntie Ann, uh, your mother-in-law, I think is getting better, and there's praise reports there. Um, and several, again, more un, un, unspoken requests. Um, I'm going to definitely, definitely uh, ask you to pray. Pray for uh, me, uh, pray for my family. Um, the enemy wants to attack. The enemy wants to attack every single one of us. But when things start going well um, in your spiritual life, in your walk, uh, that's when the enemy seems to go, you know, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to try to see if I can separate you from God. But he can't do it. He can sure uh, torment and uh, uh, put us through trials, but he cannot separate us from God. Only the separation that we allow will take place. So uh, please pray for me and my family and uh, the, all the unspoken requests, again, the wares and uh, all those out there and William Hughes, you know, his uh, co-workers and his uh, church family. Uh, guys, until next time, I sure hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day, and to God be the glory.